bad person. We got all kinds of stupid stuff like that. You guys know what that's about. Mm -hmm. So the, the and we, we we say this guy's good, this guy's bad, and everybody's got a different standard of goodness. Short rope is going to be the person, this guy here on the end. Short list of things he's done wrong. Good guy, that's you, right? All right. What do you think the, the last the long rope is? It's a bad one. Bad one. Who's that? This guy <laughs> with the earphones here. Long list of stuff. Drinking drugs, disobedience, pants, fornication, all those things. God says. And in the middle rope, what do you think that is? Medium, average. Not good all the time, but not not real bad. That's probably most of the time. <laughs> And so we may judge that based on different things, but check this out. Um, guys, there's a God in heaven, a great spirit who created us. He made all these mountains and everything. He created us in his image. And, uh, he doesn't look at us like we look at each other. He can see the heart. He didn't look at skin color. He didn't look at how much money you got. He looks at what's in your heart. And when God sees the heart, he doesn't see us as good, bad, or average. We're all the same. Whoa. Okay? We're all the same in God's eyes. What do you think that is? Innocent? Guilty? Good? Bad? What do you think God sees us as? God sees us as guilty, guys. You know how I know that? He gave us a conscience. You guys know what a conscience is? You know when you do something wrong. You know it. You lie. You steal. You know these things are wrong. We do them anyway. How many of you guys have told a lie before? I have. What would that make you? A liar. You think God... make us what? Thieves. The Bible says no thief can enter the kingdom of heaven. You guys, uh, God judges the heart, right? He doesn't look at the outside. So Jesus said if we look at a woman with lust, we've committed adultery in our heart. Now I know you guys are guilty of that. I am. I've got a beautiful, beautiful wife and I'm still being guilty of that. God's, Jesus said that's adultery of the heart. What about murder? You guys ever killed anyone? Well, God looks at the heart and if we have anger or hatred for our fellow man, Jesus said God will judge us as murderers. Murder of the heart. Are you guilty? I am. So guys, in God's eyes, we've broken his law written on our heart. You know, you guys, I'm standing around a bunch of lying, thieving, murderous adulterers. And I'm one of you. And uh, we're guilty in God's eyes. We're all guilty. What do you think that means when we die? If we stand before our Maker in judgment, what's He going to do with us if we're guilty? What do you think? Heaven or hell? Looks like hell. What do we deserve? We deserve hell, right? You guys, I wanted to tell you what God did for us. I want to tell you what your Maker did for you. He became a man. He lived a perfect life. And then He died on a cross for our sins. You see that rope won't stand up for well. Jesus Christ was God in human flesh. And he laid his life down as a payment for our sins. Guys, when we break the law, we gotta pay for it, right? We gotta go to jail, pay a fine. When we break God's law, we gotta pay for it. And the consequence is death and in, in eternity and hell. And Jesus took that payment even though he was innocent. And when he died on the cross and shed his blood, the Bible says that a legal agreement took place between God and man. God, our maker, God, stepped in and paid our fine. He paid the punishment for all those sins we just admitted to. And therefore, the Bible says if we'll repent, that means agree with God that we're guilty. Most people don't want to agree. They think I'm a good person. But if we'll agree with God and put our trust, not in religion, not in going to church, not in our heritage, but in Jesus and what he did on the cross, and then when he rose from the dead, the Bible says that God will commute our death sentence. He'll declare us not guilty. Because he's a judge and he has the power to do that. And the Bible says that. We're not guilty. God says we have eternal life. So it doesn't really matter if in man's eyes you're an average guy or a wicked person or a good person. We all need a Savior. And the Bible says Jesus is that Savior. Now, guys, somebody may have told you that's religion. Religion is man trying to do things to earn favor with God. We can't message of the Bible is salvation is free. And it doesn't matter what color your skin is. It doesn't matter where you grew up. Jesus died for all.
Jesus, when God became a man, he wasn't a white man anyway. He was Jewish. God chose to become a man in the form of a Jewish man. His skin was darker than mine. So, you know, if anybody ever told you that Jesus is the white man's religion, that's a lie. He loved, God loved every man. He gave, gave his life as a prize. So, just wanted to share that with you. Jesus changed my life. And I don't know if you guys care about the things of God. We're going to meet him one day in judgment. And we can be forgiven, declared not guilty through Jesus. But there's no other way.